Very good. Well, welcome. Good afternoon and uh, good morning, depending on where you are. Um, my name is Hari Gopalakrishna, and I'm the founder and CEO of Boomcaster. And uh, we're based in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, maybe a little bit of background about myself. Um, so I'm a podcaster. And about a year and a half ago, after trying a number of different applications, software on desktop, on the web, um, I got really frustrated with the, you know, with, with the, the easy way to, to podcast. I mean, it seems very technical. It seemed too complicated, too many things to do, especially since my um, co-host was located in Houston, Texas. So that kind of triggered me to go solve this for myself. And I think all, I've tried almost every application that you currently know and probably use, including Zoom, which you probably shouldn't be using. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, that kind of triggered me to start the, you know, the, the company and um, we built the application. Uh, the first version of it was out end of last year and we were in a private um, beta for almost a year. And we launched about a month, month and a half ago. So if you haven't heard of us, there's a perfect reason why, because we haven't been, you know, in the public space for that long. But we're excited to be here. Um, we are excited to be supporting this community and supporting this festival. And looking forward to connecting with many of you uh, throughout this event and afterwards. So let me pull up uh, my presentation here. It's going to be just three slides. We have a very short time frame here. So two to three slides, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the the product as well. But we can just um, uh, you know just jump in and ask any questions uh, that you may have. So I'm going to share screen. Um, I think I don't. Do I have the ability to share? Oh wait, yep. Give, give me a moment. I gotta make you into a host. I apologize. Uh, make all right there you go you should... oh, okay here are you able to do it now yep i think we're good uh i am going to pull up all right so i introduced myself so real quick um the essence of this podcast, this, this session is about going live. Um, I would love to know if any of you actually do live podcasting today, or do you record live, or do you stream live? Um, if you do, please, uh, you know, put it in the in the chat if you can. Just curious to know if you're already in it and you're looking for uh, a better solution. So, why record live? Um, I think it's fairly straightforward us uh, for us to, uh, today. We have many, many channels to go find the community that we're speaking with. Uh, there's an amazing community out on YouTube uh, and Facebook and LinkedIn has become another uh, big community that after they launched the, the beta for uh, streaming, uh, they're still in beta, but uh, that's opened up another uh, very large community. And so getting outside of just audio, but you want to do that in an easy fashion, but you, if you can reach outside of the audience that you're you're uh, you're um, speaking to today, th that's that's massive. It helps you grow faster. Secondly, it improves your engagement, community engagement. Um, the live streams are much more interactive, and um, and it's and it's more authentic. Um, it is very raw. You could make mistakes. Um, some some people are very comfortable with doing that. In fact, I've I've tried it myself, and and um, in my 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 initial live stream, I was probably very stiff and and not very comfortable. But uh, after two or three, um, I found uh, the the sessions to be much more fluent, um, and you become less concerned about what's uh, what's you know really happening. And in, and in, 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 I think you have a much better opportunity to connect with your audience. And the last uh, point is you get instant feedback. Um, you can interact with the audience. You can talk. Uh, you can chat with them. So the question is, why aren't uh, everybody doing this, right? Uh, if it, and, and the reason is it's not that easy. Uh, it's not easy because today you're doing a lot of work just to get the podcast up and running, uh, record it, 
uh, you have to edit it and you have to 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 publish it, right? Um, so how are the folks that are going live doing it today? So option number one, you go straight to to social media. You can go to YouTube and Facebook and and actually LinkedIn doesn't do that directly, but the others you can. Um, there are streaming solutions like um, Amon just mentioned. Uh, Streamyard is one. Dressstream is another one. Um, there's conferencing software like Zoom. Uh, you can actually stream from there. Uh, and then there's podcasting software like Podbean, for example. You can stream audio, just the audio to, um, you know, to listeners. Uh, quickly, you know, th there are a couple of challenges. Now, number one is if you're streaming to social media, that is recorded on the web, which means it's a it's a web-based recording that's impacted by network connectivity, quality of the connection, uh, all these other things. You could be coming in and out. You could be, uh, you may not be very clear coming through in terms of audio. Uh, and they don't, you know, they, they simply record the stream. Streaming solutions make it easier uh, by allowing you to stream to multiple destinations from one place. But again, the challenge exists that you cannot record in super high quality. Conferencing software solutions like Zoom, they, they also allow you to, to record it online, but again, their quality is even worse than the stream, streaming solutions that you see on number two. And the last one, you know, podcasting software, there's wide variety of them. I gave you an example of, a, of one Podbean, but um, Boomcaster falls into one of those purpose-built podcasting software solutions. So what is different about Boomcaster and what's Boomcasting? Well, Boomcasting is ha having, uh, giving you the ability to locally record, live stream, and, and be able to personalize your studio all at the same time. Meaning if you, whether you're doing a solo cast or whether you're talking to three other people or you're running a panel of five, you can record video and wave audio locally at each of those locations at the participant and that recording is uh, uploaded to the cloud so you would have independent tracks for video and audio that you can then edit uh, live streaming while you're doing this recording in high quality you can also live stream to facebook and uh, youtube today linkedin's going to be launched actually tomorrow night last but not least you know none of these applications today uh, maybe with the exception of StreamYard, allows you to customize your studio, adding your brand name, changing the color of the, the background, or, you know, uh, uh, adding a banner, potentially adding a sponsor, um, you know, sponsor logo, and, and many of these other things that you may want as you go live. So Boomcaster is really purpose-built to help you record in high quality and also be able to stream. So that's just uh, the quick uh, summary of this. Um, any questions before I just jump into the product and show you how you do it? All right. Doesn't look like any questions. Awesome. Yeah, you can go ahead. So what you're seeing up here is the Boomcaster um, uh, homepage. Uh, and this is the dashboard. You have the ability to organize all of your upcoming podcasts, um, you know, whether it's weeks, uh, or months down the road. And it allows you to uh, also have all the files in here. So for example, if I go to a, 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 a previous uh, podcast, so like you can see several of them recorded. Here is one where there were um, three people in the podcast, Omar, Howard, and myself. And for each person, there is a wave audio and MP4 uh, file available. And lastly, you also have a web recording, which is recorded as, on the web, just like you would get from, let's say, a StreamYard. But it's, it's, you know, it's really high quality and it's also customized. So how do you how do, you do the recording? Well, the recording uh, studio is customizable. So for example, here is a two-person session. And if you click on customization, you have the ability to change the layout on the fly. And you can do this while you're streaming or recording. You can change the banner. 
um, you can change the location of the banner. And as you do this, if you're in, in stream, uh, it will change real time. Logo, uh, same thing. You can change the logo and up upload a new logo, or you can keep it. You probably don't want to keep my logo. You want to promote yours. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you can change the logo and background. Uh, we are adding a ton of customizations uh, come uh, end of next week. But when you're live, you would have the ability to you know, stream. You'd have the ability to chat um, in stream uh, within Boomcaster uh, and be able to interact with your guests. So again, um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what this is and how you would stream. Uh, the, the product um, supports up to six users. So you could, you know, here's how two users would look. Um, four users, again, layout is customizable. You can change them. Five users, depending on the number of users, again, you can change the layouts. And those layouts would be the what uh, the, the same layout that would be used for streaming uh, out to whatever destination you pick. And like I said, um, you know, whether or not you stream, you would have super high quality audio and video, and you can choose go up to 4K um, if you have the right um, hardware to do it. And that's, uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I gave you five minutes if you need, have any questions. If you don't, um, uh, of course, um, you know, happy to, um, you know, uh, let you take a five minute break. I know you need to probably need a breather as well. So I'm, I'm going to pause here if, if anybody has any questions. I had a quick question. Can you yep. explain once more yep. uh, when you were finished doing your recording, how you can transfer, like how it gets transferred back to the cloud again? You said it can transfer through and like as multiple videos and audio files? Yeah, so let me do that. Uh, correct. So let me go back to a past session. So here is a session that I just showed. Um, so we had three people, one person in, in Houston, this person was in uh, Singapore and myself in Chapel Hill. And when the session was recorded or uh, uh, ended, all of these files were uploaded. And by the way, the files are uploaded real time. So it's not like you have to wait at the end of the session to, re uh, to upload, it's automatically uploaded. And uh, maybe it takes about you know a minute, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, depending on the connection speed, but it gets uploaded to you at uh, your dashboard as the podcast host. So I'm see, I'm looking at the podcast host view. So all of the files would get uploaded and I can then download the audio file. So I click download, Omar, wave file, and I hit download, file gets downloaded to, to, my, lo to, to my local desktop. You can then drop this into an editing tool and edit it as you need. The composed recording is, is already composed, which means you can take this and drop it into a YouTube channel if you want. It's already, already recorded as a combined video. But a lot of times, you know, whether you're doing a video editing or audio editing, you, you're better off having multiple tracks so you can really fine tune the editing process in post-production. Nice. Uh, we have three questions. Two of them come from Corey in the sure. chat do you, do you able to see them you know i cannot see would you mind no, reading no problem no problem i'll read them to you uh the first question he has is uh what's the difference between this service and Streamyard? and then the second question is does it allow streaming on multiple platforms he missed that part so yep. if you can go over that again yeah no problem so i'm going to just go into a session just to show you how it looks so this is me joining a session as a host um i can pick camera mic um, all of that. Um, and when I'm in here, it's very easy for me to pick a, a destination to stream. So I could pick any number of destinations. So to answer your question, Corey, you can pick any number of destinations. Um, and I'm, you know, and you just have to check and there are some required fields, title, description is optional. Once you check it, uh, you then enter the room. Once you enter the room, once you enter the room, there's a start recording button. And when you start recording, it just as it starts recording, it streams. And when you end the recording, it stops streaming. So, so that's how this works. It makes it super easy. You don't have to worry about anything else. 
All you have to do is check the box, where do you want to go live, and you're done. Okay. Now, how is it different than, um, than uh, StreamYard? Well, StreamYard does not record locally. So StreamYard records on the web. Now, we do that too. So when you, you saw the, the web recording option, uh, every session is recorded on the web for us. But that's not the reason why you would want to come to Booncaster is if you want super high quality audio and video as, as separate streams. StreamYard doesn't record locally or provide uh, you know, independent streams. Does that help? That's great, thank you. Um, we unfortunately don't have much time left. I mean, there were a few more questions, but if you guys want to talk directly with Hart, you can, yeah. do, you, do you have a place that you wanna send Yeah, him? actually, yeah, if you go to my uh, booth, there is a live stream. I'm gonna jump on that live stream. I'll be there this afternoon and happy to chat with you. Great, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you everybody, really appreciate all the questions. Look forward mm -hmm. to seeing you on Boomcaster. All right, everybody can enjoy the rest of the festival, all right? All right, yeah, enjoy. Thing.